So I let a few turns go by so my empire could stable out. I mean, it's really, it was up and down for a while there. Obviously every turn, uh, my economy was drastically shifting. My happiness was going up and down. Um, I think I somewhat have it more, more consistent now. So first of all, I destroyed Sweden, uh, and their other city, cannot remember the name off the top of my head, was uh, burned to the ground, and I'm now burning Helsinki to the ground, so there's going to be a little bit of space uh, in between Scandinavia, and that's fine. I'm not going to give open borders to anybody, so uh, it's it's no big deal. Again, I wanted to go to war Sweden just to eliminate them from the game. I also didn't like having them kind of back behind my empire like that with a bunch of troops, so overall it's good. Um, I do want to destroy Denmark at some point, but maybe I'll let them pass, uh, because I did take most of my navy down south because uh, that is going to be the eventual plan. The eventual plan will be to destroy America, or at least destroy his uh, coastal cities. Washington, New York, probably go down to Chicago. If I can get Oboros through the Mayans, I'll do that, but I don't know if I can. Let's see if he's willing to give me... Well, since I have to ask for his embassy, that's probably not a pretty good idea. I, well, not a good chance. Uh, he's friendly towards me, which is nice. What would you want for this? Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, what about this? What about this? What about copper? I've got five of them. Yeah, I'm going to give you a luxury because nobody else uh, is willing to... Nobody else wants my luxury, so I'll give them up to you. And that's fine. So that would be good eventually. I'm thinking that we'll be able to keep the Mayan open borders for a little bit, at least 30 turns. More than likely, we'll definitely get this war started before 30 turns. So I'd like to destroy all the cities they have coastally. And actually, let's go and check on what Washington has uh, has in terms of his empire. So it's five cities total. Atlanta, I don't know where Atlanta is at. But more than likely, someone else will destroy that city. I'm guessing it's somewhere in the heart of North America. Uh, someone will probably destroy them after they're down to like one city or so. Uh, and also, I did just take over Moscow. So what I did intentionally, because I could have destroyed these units here, uh, I've allowed them to hold on to their Russian Great War Infantry so that they can hopefully take Moscow back. I don't really want to take on another 16 populated city, as well as I don't want to wait 11 turns for the resistance to be up. So I'm hoping that they'll take that back here. Uh, we're going to go to the next turn and cross our fingers, and we'll see what happens. So, And, and like I said, all the fleets, most of my fleets are going over towards the uh, North American uh, Washington front, I guess I should say. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I did completely forget about my desire to destroy Denmark. I guess I shouldn't destroy them. I kind of want to. You know, with my army, when I'm not doing anything after... Actually, yeah, with the army, because I'm not doing anything with the army after we destroy Russia, I'll probably just quickly go over there and take out Denmark. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. I, I might even buy a few more battleships. Again, I had been kind of playing with the idea of having three task forces task, task force out in the Navy at all times. Um, right now, we have one in the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, the other one is just off the coast of Washington, D.C., or Washington. And uh, I'd like to get a third force going. My economy's doing a little bit better, but I did have a... Oh, no, someone. I thought someone uh, plundered my trade route, but that must have been someone plundering a trade route to me, not from me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I'm guessing that's, that's what happened. So we're only involved in two wars right now, one against Byzantium and one against Russia. So a little bit better. I've got six happiness. I like that. Let's go and destroy this unit. And here goes my general. We're going to plop that dude down. And we're going to make it. Yeah, who cares, man? Who cares? I don't care, Arabia. You shouldn't even have that tile anyways. So we're going to slowly try to make it over towards Byzantium without losing too much. Uh, I want to be careful in the ways I do this. So I know I have an extra range battleship. Actually, here he is right here. Uh, I don't have sights on Constantinople just yet. But I will soon. Uh, let's go and destroy this Great War Tree. Very good. Uh, bring the Admiral. Probably inside of Athens. We don't need him to move any more than just that. And I think this should be enough, I'm guessing. We've got about five battleships. Do I have vision now? Yes, we do. And there's only a cannon located inside of Constantinople, so this should be pretty easy. We probably don't even need this many battleships, but uh, I will use them for now. There's, there goes my privateer. And who can I... Oh, oh there's a Byzantium... A Byzantine archaeologist and a worker in my territory will destroy them, destroy those two citizen units. And uh, as soon as we're done here, we're gonna pop these guys out. Like pop, 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 pop. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna do something with that with that regiment. We're gonna do something with these forces out here in the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, I'd like to eventually have them go to the Atlantic. However, I do that, whether it's popping or plupping or whatever. Uh, so I guess Russia's not gonna be able to take over Moscow here. I guess that's okay as well. I just I just hate waiting this long for resistance to be up. 
Uh, and this city is at way too much population for me to keep as a puppet, so I'll definitely buy a courthouse at some point. Uh, it just it probably is just too good of a city to keep like you know under a puppet. Uh, that's what I did with Rome over the break as well. I did annex Rome. I'm kind of I, I, my philosophy is that if it's over like seven population, then I'm I'm annexing it. There might be a few that are that are that in fact you know in my empire somewhere that I have not uh, yet annexed, and that's just because I'm blind. But uh, if I do find, see Novgorod is one of them right there, uh, I guess I should do that, right? Oh, he's building a zoo anyways. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just let's just do it. So I will. Oh, we can also purchase a monastery, which I've been buying as well with the faith, since I'm making you know I'm generating a lot of faith per turn, so I might as well do something with it. That's that's the way I think of it. Okay, so please let's destroy that artillery unit that decided to embark. That would be fantastic. We did not. I guess it's still okay. I uh, can't do much damage against this machine gun unless I get some extra support. Uh, I can use my air force, which actually I will. I don't think they have anything else. <sighs> Hope not. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, I'll take a few shots with the two remaining Great War Bombers. If I have one of these guys die, I'm going to cry. All right, I didn't, which is good. Uh, let's take one more shot since we... I guess we could just destroy it all entirely with our planes, but uh, I'd rather not... I think their city's a little bit deeper into the fog of war because I had this infantry unit located on this tile, I believe, and I didn't get bombarded, but he could be like right there. He could be on this tile. The city could be located on that tile. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, let's give you defense. Yeah, 33% defense against all range attacks. Sounds good to me. You'll go with the artillery, and we'll start to approach most of the artillery units up towards the final Russian city. So we're going to destroy Russia here. Mm, I guess I could... Yeah, let's just go ahead and see what they got. This is a fresh infantry unit. Okay, so St. Petersburg will be able to uh, to bombard my my English... Well, wh whichever one they want, I guess. But at least we have vision. At least we know where they're at. Uh, if I can utilize the infantry... I'm sorry, the, uh, the infrastructure of my empire and push the artillery up faster, that would be good. But there's not very many tiles for me to work with here. Uh, obviously, number one priority is to make sure that my artillery have range over the machine guns. Machine guns don't really mean much to me. Yeah, let's get you inside of Novgorod. That way we can use uh, the, the our infrastructure later, the railroads later. Okay, so there goes the last Great World Bomber, and then we'll begin to attack St. Petersburg next. But yeah, like I said, machine guns are going to stay behind. Continuing to try to build the railroad system and connect uh, most of our empire. Through, through railroads. Now, I understand why, you know, some people were like, well, first of all, there's two things that affected my economy. Uh, in the comment section, I know people were like, well, what happened? You know, your economy's sucking now, and you, you've got no happiness. Um, me, not, me not having much happiness was going to happen no matter what. Me falling behind in happiness was just a cruel part of this campaign. I knew it was going to happen. There's just way too many cities with way too much population that I was going to have to take over. Uh, so that was going to happen no matter what. But I was making like 300 gold per turn, when I realized that actually we might not get embargoed, uh, I started shifting around my cities from away from gold focus, which is by default where puppets go to. And then when you annex a puppet, it stays on gold focus. So I went to default focus, um, which made me lose a lot more money. So I went to make it from making like 300 gold per turn to about less than 100 gold per turn. Um, and at the end of the day, that was the right decision. Because if I was smarter, I guess, I mean, most Civ players don't use... I like to have a backup of money so that if time gets times get tough, I can use that. Uh, strictly speaking, usually it's better to have to focus on production than to focus on gold. And that is exactly what I decided to do. Well, I, I went to default focus, but I mean, uh, I wanted to make sure that because my happiness was falling, that my cities weren't on gold focus. They were more on a default focus um, so that they can produce happiness buildings faster, like the zoo, like the military academy, like the barracks, like the arsenal, all that stuff. And, and ultimately, I, it was the right decision. Um, I did switch around over the break. There you go. You saw one there. Uh, a few of my cities to production focus. Some of them are production focus. Some of them I switched back to gold focus. So it's a little bit more balanced now. And I think that maybe that was uh, for the best. 
But yeah, definitely some went back, some went just to production, some are still at defaults. Uh, and I think this is kind of the best setup that I could have asked for. Uh, so that was my explanation as well as, so that was one reason why I lost so much money. Uh, the other reason was because I uh, started building railroads. And that's something, that's personal preference. I guess I technically did not need railroads. But, ah, uh, you know... That's just the way I play. That's the way I play Civ Five. I absolutely love railroads, and I and I want, especially in a very wide game like this. You know, if I wasn't playing, well, if I if I was playing tall, then I'd probably still build railroads because it's not going to cost me that much. But uh, in a wide game like this, I actually see a big, big advantage in using railroads. If I build, I'm only really building. Most of my production cities are back in the northwest of Europe, and if my front is going up against Mongolia at some point, I'm gonna need railroads to get us all the way to Moscow. So that's just personal taste. I also like that it does increase uh, production in cities that you know you connect through railroads. Uh, I believe by fifty percent or something like that. So production is my favorite uh, yield to work on. Actually, I think science would be, but uh, in a game like this, I guess it would be production. Anyway, so those two factors are why my economy started to suffer, uh, and and why it's not the same. It's it's going to remain at negative, yeah, I mean, not negative. It's going to remain below probably 100 gold per turn, and I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely fine with that because I, I need to have a military. I want to have a big enough military, which I do. I've got a pretty big military as it is, and I want to continue to build uh, a military to the point where, like, I might only be having 30 gold per turn, which I'm, like I said, I'm okay with. I've got enough stockpiled over over time. I've, I've stockpiled enough where I can purchase a lot more courthouses. And and I'll be able to steal away gold as I capture cities and stuff like that. So uh, economically, it was for the best. I made those sacrifices for uh, military reasons, for building units and getting them over towards Asia as fast as possible. And then I made those sacrifices so that I could build happiness buildings and fix my happiness faster without being on gold focus in my former pr uh, puppeted cities. So anyways, uh, yes, we have just kind of fully, what's that called, explored the Gulf of Mexico. And St. Petersburg, I don't think, attacked us, did they? Or if they did, it wasn't a very wasn't a very good attack. Okay, so I've got one artillery unit there. I'll use the other one here. Let's bring the generals closer. I believe I have another one up this way. There we go, perfect. Um, I want to make sure that these guys all have an attack for next turn. Uh, and I think I will. I've got this guy perfect. All right, so we'll have four artillery attacks at the very least. Uh, I guess I'll move the machine gun that has logistics closer. Let me make sure that this is their last city. It is. Okay, just just, just to uh, just wanted to double check. Just wanted to double check. Uh, infantry units will stay behind so that they can reinforce if these two guys start to get uh, hurt. But what I will do is I will begin to... Ah, uh, I'm out of moves. How, how, how am I out of moves? Tundra. How did that eat my movement there? It's not a hill, is it? It's a forest. Maybe that. I don't I don't know. I know I can't use other enemies infra uh, infrastructure, but still kind of weird. Anyways, I'm going to press forward and then we're going to use our great war bombers to attack St. Petersburg since we uh, we we know that there are no resistance, there will be no resistance. Let's let's give it continue to go siege to. These are what my bombers are meant they were made for to 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 help me attack cities. And I will like to, you know, obviously, when I get to the regular bombers, these are great war bombers. When I get to the regular bombers, uh, I'm going to be able to do that even more and even more effectively. Dang, I would have liked to maybe have placed an artillery unit there instead, but. Oh, I can put one here. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, do I have a, another unit? Wait a second. Can I get this guy? No. Can I get this guy there? No. Okay. Well, I'll still place you on the railroad, and I'm guessing I will put you there. Do you have logistics as well? You do. Ah, uh, but there's a hill behind you. Okay, well, we'll move you guys around later, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Russia's done. Uh, we're going to be able to take over St. Petersburg in a turn or two, which is fine, because I'm still waiting for that, that final Swedish city to burn down. So the Moroccan capital can build me a military academy. There we go, in five turns. I love that. Very good city. And can you... No, I was going to say, you. there's no way you can still shoot, right? Okay, that's fine. Let's move you to Moscow. And I guess we'll continue to press you guys forward. I think I'm just going to put this artillery unit here next to uh, Denmark so we can prepare for that. Um, I guess we'll also just build the railroad on top of the hill. 
And there we go. Let's construct an archaeological site. Uh, most of my railroads, railroads have been built, which I really like. I'm not really going to do anything in North Africa. I don't think they, we need an infrastructure there. Uh, and not, I don't think I'm going to do anything in the Italian peninsula either. There's no need for it, at least for now. I don't want to make my, my economy suffer even more. I'm also connecting uh, the Portuguese roads to Madrid, which I don't know why I had let it go on for this long. Okay, so I'm at 12 happiness. Helsinki is at 3 population. Um, we're still we're still getting happiness back, so I guess we could probably... Oh, man, Constantinople's at 25 citizens. That is... That sucks. Do I have any, any logistic... Yes, there we go. You just got logistics. That's amazing. Okay. And you have the range, so you can attack twice. So this will definitely take a long time to take down. Not a t actually, no, it won't, take a, it won't take a long time at all. Can I attack the city from here? I can. Well, I'll still scoot you up for next turn. And uh, I'm sure Washington is start to, he's gonna he's gonna start to get a little bit uh, suspicious as we stand right by his capital, especially as the English Empire being so aggressive. Okay, let's try to get autocracy passed. World religion. I don't really want that world religion to pass, but because uh, we don't have any of that religion, I don't believe in our empire as a whole. Monument in one turn, yes. I do think that it, we monuments are pretty freaking crucial. Shrines I could skip out on, but sometimes when I see that one turn, I'm just like, oh, come on, just one turn, it's not that big of a deal. But then I think in hindsight, it probably I probably shouldn't have done that. Let us go with, I, I want to say go with the military academy, but your production sucks, Orleans. I guess I could go with the workshop in four turns, but that's not really going to help out your production that much more either. So let us just go with the military academy, I guess. I mean, we, we really need it at this point. Zoo in seven turns. And then I will attack this archaeologist. Next, we will go here. And I do believe we are about at the end of our episode. But uh, I will be back tomorrow. And we'll – actually, no, no, no. no. We still have about a minute left. Okay, for some reason I thought that – I don't know what the heck I thought. Um, let's go one more turn. Let's hit next turn, see what happens, see what the AI decides to do. Ooh, Arabia is about to lose this city. I really am hoping that my happiness is going to continue – to to grow nope no peace deals all right what, what is it what is it come on austria choosing freedom not cool man totally not cool i'll use this infantry unit as well to destroy denmark uh again i'll probably just burn the city down and and it'll probably get taken down to about four or five populations so it won't take long to, long to burn down at all uh, at that point then we'll have to make a very interesting decision um I don't know if we're going to go to war with Austria. I'd like to, although I don't really see a point in why we would go to war with Austria. Besides for their capital, that's a pretty big reason, actually. St. Petersburg. Wow, St. Petersburg does not have very good uh, city bombardment. They barely take off any health, which is crazy. Yeah, I know. That's very strange. Uh, maybe these guys, maybe these are the guys that I've given cover to. I did. Oh, wow. I'm really not used to that. That's, there you go. Goes to show you that I'm not used to giving that promotion away, and I probably should have a long time ago. I very much like that promotion. Anyways, guys, I'm about to stop right there. I think we're going to take over two more cities in the next one, St. Petersburg and Constantinople, and we need to keep on moving. we got to keep on moving. If we slow down, then we will lose the campaign, so we got to keep on taking over cities. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.